Hey, I'm Q. I'm running in the municipal elections in Tampere. It's an international city, so it makes sense to try this in English as well. Though it will mean live translating, so let's see how it goes. My motto is uh, facts, no tricks. Basically, I'm a skeptic. I want to run things by the numbers. There's a lot of emotion used in decision making, and I don't think it's fair. It's always very subjective, and it won't work fair for all parties. So I want to put facts into the numbers. <clears throat> and uh, even if it goes a little bit <clears throat> to cold numbers, because let's face it, we're there as a team, a lot of people, doesn't hurt to have one person going by the numbers. Our uh, party has this very short pamphlet, yes, in Finnish. It's about carrying responsibility. That's <clears throat> what the hashtag is going there for. And I think it's a good idea. Of course, we need to carry responsibility, but I think that's something that we can move to all people. I think every person should have a chance to carry responsibility, work out their own things, find something useful to do, because that's what I think makes a happy person. And uh, for everyone to their own, I mean, Everyone needs to find their own way to work it out, be responsible, and uh, build their own lives. A few concrete ideas here. One thing, uh, air quality in the city, especially the main street, Hamenkatu. Uh, I have a little bit of bad lungs, that's why I walk a lot and a lot and a lot. Especially winter time when there's no wind, it's like walking one long smoke corridor from start to finish. Uh, I want to start a little bit of a dialogue, see if we could maybe find some compromise to limit smoking in some areas, move it a little bit to the side. That's a thought. <clears throat> cultural work. I've worked in founding a lot of cultural organizations, events, various kinds, and uh, the one thing combining all of them, for example, when we started truck on a role-playing anime back <clears throat> well over 10 years ago, nobody in the city working for the city had any clue what we were doing. And that's just the thing. I have no idea what's going to be the next big hit, what's going to be the next big event that's going to bring 10,000 visitors to Tampere. That's just the thing. We need to have an environment where there's room for new things, not just throwing money into old cultural buildings, but for the possibilities, new people, new events, new things coming in. <clears throat> and uh, to create a mood where these new things are welcome, and there's always room for something new, something maybe very experimental. Uh, <clears throat> I run my own business, well, two actually. One thing that I really, really don't like is big <clears throat> companies, they don't have to be international, though often they are, that just don't pay their taxes here, but use some kind of tricks to transfer the taxes abroad. I don't like it. Now, while I know this is something that has to be dealt on a national level, perhaps even the EU level, I want to at least keep this thing afloat, keep it on top. I do not want to spend any public money buying services from companies that do not take responsibility, because when some don't pay at all, the rest of us have to pay more. International issues, of course. I mean, I've worked in international business all my life, <clears throat> pretty much all my work life, and I started work at 12. And uh, while I'm speaking English, it probably makes the point that I want to invite more and more people here to work, to study, to innovate. That's what we need. <clears throat> now, I know it's a little bit cliche, but I think it needs to be repeated because uh, when we have a lot of people who want to work and create, that's when we build something wonderful, something marvelous. And when these people create new work, that work again creates more work. And we really don't have to fight about is the person being employed local or coming from somewhere else. I move around a lot. I walk, like I said, I bicycle, I take the bus, and I drive the car. Now, when we're going to be planning new roads or routes <clears throat> or bus schedules, whatever, I want to make a point that I'm going to go there to the place in question, route in question, I'm going to walk it, I'm going to bicycle it, I'm going to take a bus, and I'm going to drive around it. And I want to compare all of these. I think it should help decision making a little bit when you can try all the options and uh, I really think we have room for all these options. Any way you want to move, any way you can move. <clears throat> I'm from the area of town called Multisilta. The areas Multisilta, Peltolami are very underrepresented in politics locally. We're a little bit like forgotten suburbs, but we don't need to be. 
I want to build on the fact that we have a lot of people there, a lot of people wanting to work, wanting to do. We have a lot of great ideas and possibilities. Now I know the city is planning to build something new there and look at us for change. Now I want us to have a voice there. I want to talk and bring our good ideas. So they'll also have an equal representation as the many, many, many other great parts of the city we have, <clears throat> which I will walk through, of course, in the coming years too. I have no idea exactly what kind of decisions will be coming up in the next few years. That's why I think it's important to say how I'm going to decide. I'm a skeptic, like I said. I will learn, and I will say when I don't know. I have no problem saying I don't know, then I'll have to study. And I'm going to take care of myself. That way I can work for this matter. I'm going to sleep enough, I'm going to eat right, and I'm going to be walking, lots and lots of walking. And I hope you take care of yourself too. And let's together take care of this wonderful city, Tampere. That's all. And uh, unfortunately, the last part really has to be in Finnish because let's face it, it's Tampere. So here goes. Sommoro. <laughs>